So I was out today and we were drilling a well about 30 miles from, from the shop and I got a phone call from another well driller. He just started up recently in the last six months. And I actually, we saw him drilling this well in our neighborhood and um, we went by and talked to him, checked it out. They cut it to 385, made a gallon and a half a minute and they put the pump towards the bottom. Well, long story short, railroad, um, they're running it out of water and they want to know if we would frack it for them. So, we kind of finished somewhat early today at 3 o'clock, so I told them, let's go ahead and do it today. So I didn't know how the rest of the week was going to pan out. That way the homeowner would be happy. Because right now the homeowner's kind of PO'd about it because they think that they should go and drill them another well. But I told them, there's only an acre of land there. There's no likelihood of them hitting no different water within 50, 60 foot of that well. And if they go ahead and drill another well, they take away the opportunity to frack because once you punch two holes within the close vicinity of one another, when I frack one, it's just gonna push water out the other. That's their uh, pump truck and then their water truck is in front. This is actually my parents' neighborhood. I've lived here for 28 years and I decided I was gonna move out into the country. We're on camera to well, figure out where we're gonna set our packer, and then we're gonna frack this thing. We're gonna let them pump test it and see what it makes. And hopefully the homeowner's happy. So we're here on the job. Um, we went ahead and cameraed the well to about 200 foot, and the water level right now is at 100 foot from the surface, which is not typical for this area. Um, so what they're doing now, they're gonna go ahead and fill the well full of water, which will make pulling the well pump out easier. And we have to have the borehole full of water in order for us to frack it. So they're gonna go ahead and do that now. And then we're gonna uh, back our truck up, send the packer down and start fracking. Now that's how you pull a well pump out right there. All right, that's a deepen. That's a deepen. Nice pump. Really nice pump. All right, let's get on up here. Turn this on. Turn this on. Let this idle. And then uh, we're good. So let's go ahead down. We'll pick the packer up and we'll set it in the hole. Yeah. Dad says we got a storm about to hit. Yeah, I can tell. Slide the wheels on it. Yeah, right there to your uh, to your right. That's hold the uh, hold that. All right, so the packer's down in the hole at 100. So this is 160. So 157. No. Right now I'm adding water down the hole to uh, flush the system, make sure it's 100% full of water before we go ahead and inflate the packer. No, I just stopped it down there. All right, so now what we're doing? We got this pump here. This is just a battery powered pump and it's gonna send hydraulic fluid down to the packer. We're gonna look at this gauge and we want the gauge to rest between 1,000 and 1,500 PSI. So that balloon, that packer, that uh, rubber and steel belted, it's swelling up due to the um, due to the hydraulic fluid we're sending down there. So it's like a car tire with air. So um, it has to have a thousand psi force 
locked into the rock in order for it to uh, not move. When we start sending water pressure down the hole, we're gonna basically uh, match the same pressure. We'll get pressures 1500 to 2000 PSI that we're pressurizing the veins down in the well. So we gotta make sure that the packer doesn't move. All right, it's starting to build pressure. I'm gonna let go. I'm gonna let it rest for a minute. This is gonna allow the packer to swell, fill all in, any little voids, any cracks, any little crevices down there, imperfections in the borehole. I'm gonna press it again for about three seconds and it's gonna jump up to 1500 and then it's gonna rest back down to 1000. We just gotta give it a little time.
We're done fracking but as you can tell a storm rolled in on us and I am not one to shy away from lightning so we are all gonna sit in here and chill until the lightning goes away and then we're gonna finish our job even if it's dark outside all right well we got the packer all pulled out we're kind of still in the midst of the storm but the lightning had kind of went past us so we went ahead and hurry up and pulled it on out I believe now they're working on putting the well pump back in the hole. I'm just waiting for my truck to air up so we can uh, move it forward for them. Fracker. But everything seemed to be all right. It didn't get the typical high pressures like I'm used to seeing. Typically, I get a thousand, fifteen hundred psi, but this one, it went up to about a thousand. But it was kind of hammering, kind of funny. I believe I might have had some trash in one of the check valves on the pump and then when I stuck the transmission in second gear which upped the flow rate a lot wow there was lightning right there um, then it flushed it out and it started running smoother but uh, you could tell at the beginning of the frack it was kind of jumping but um, 500 psi 700 psi that was where she was living she took about 700 gallons of water down in there so it flushed it out you could really see uh, the sediment that came out of the well after I released the packer. All the water that I pushed down in the hole, it started to come out of the well. So, Mr. Bennett right there, he's the owner of the other well drilling company that we're helping out today. It being smart, wiping, all off, wiping off all the, uh, the grass and the hay that sticks to the pipe. Very important. We're going to go ahead and add a bag of chlorine to the well. Help sanitize it. Tanner there he got the uh, the T bar the pitless bar I like their pitless their pitless adapter there it's all stainless steel if you're gonna install one that's the way to do it all we've got to do now is go down and find the female coupler and lock it in and she's ready to go they're gonna do a pump test on it tomorrow and uh, hopefully we'll get some good results from it but uh, that's gonna be about it for today. So thank y'all for watching. Have a good one.